I feel really bad because it's supposed to be Mother's Day today but basically for those of you that don't know I had my own children but they've been murdered and I'm not dealing with it very well and yeah so as a result of it I I've just been trying to like go out and spend some like money on like just trying to work on focusing on my mental health because I'm not doing very well at the moment but I completely forgot it was Mother's Day until today which is like whoa what the actual fuck is happening and I completely forgot my mum's day so she's been running around spoiling me all day buying me really nice presents buying me really nice gifts doing really nice things for me and I've just been ignoring her on my phone listening to fucking Beyonce and shit like that thinking about my own kids when actually it's like hold on a minute I'm someone's daughter I need to quit this shit and stop acting like this I just don't know how to deal with my grief because it's like how the fuck do you deal with the cover-up of two baby toddlers going completely missing <laughs> so I'm sorry if I didn't give anybody a good mother's day but I can't because I don't even have money to fucking because I can't get a job because I'm worried sick every single day about those poor little angels because I don't know what happened to them. I don't think they're here anymore, I genuinely don't. As much as I want to hold on hope, <laughs> their dad is such a sick and twisted monster that I think I have actually lost my tiny baby angels somewhere between June and now and I'm so far in denial about it that I can't face the truth so I just keep recording more songs and bringing out more albums I won't look on their dad's profile and pages ever again ever ever again and I won't look on any of the soldiers pages ever again either but I actually can't believe that I have just ruined my own mother's mother's day i didn't even look inside the card that she gave me i just took a photo of it to make my ex-boyfriend jealous because i wanted him to be angry that i was having such a good mother's day going out into restaurants while he's stuck at home not being able to do anything but yeah because everybody knows what he's like and everybody knows that he just murdered two toddlers so he can't come out of his house because he will get killed it's only a matter of time before he gets killed anyway because there are literally armies of people looking for him to lynch him and to murder him so it's literally only a few days before he's gone but which I don't even necessarily want anymore because yeah I was the one that manifested it but that was my family I didn't want my fucking children's father to become a gang-banging bisexual rapist who kills children. I didn't want him to become a malignant narcissist and blame me for every single problem that he ever went through. He was not like that when I met him, but then narcs never are. They're always so charming, they're always so lovely. But yeah, I am literally in such emotional turmoil right now that I can't even spend time with my own family and friends because I miss my fucking children so fucking much. I can't talk about it publicly because then <laughs> my ex-boyfriend starts messaging me and tormenting me and threatening to throw me in a fucking nut house because of those fucking things that he's done to our poor fucking kids. I hope you get better soon. Well, how would you feel if you were an actual woman and you're only and the only thing that you have, which is having babies, was taken away from you. But you're a sadist, so you'll be watching me right now crying, laughing your head off, 
so you know what i'm not gonna fucking cry i'm gonna wipe my own fucking tears and i'm gonna dust my fucking face off and i'm gonna say you know what cunt you can't affect me you can't get to me you can't break me down You're not going to get me to treat my family like shit because you treat your family like shit. No way. I was nice to my mum, even though I couldn't afford to buy her anything or do anything nice for her. I was still nice to her. And I've never once seen you be nice to your mother. Not once. Out of the whole four-year relationship. I don't even remember how long it was. I think it was four years, but I don't actually know. It was like... 2018, 19, 20, no, hold on, 2017, 18, 19, two years, so it was a two year relationship basically, and that's what I'm telling people that it wasn't, anyway, <laughs> I'm denying all knowledge of it essentially, if anybody, unless anybody asks me, then I don't have a baby daddy, well I don't anyway, but, <laughs> they were so perfect, they were actually perfect. And now I am literally going to end everything for you. I swear to God. You will never have any happiness ever again. You will never smile ever again. And on Father's Day you won't get any presents. You won't see any children. And that includes for your birthday too. You fucked with the wrong person. And I actually had a really good day running around town, smiling, giggling and laughing like a little kid. Because, yeah, all right, I might have been a cunt to my own family and not gotten them anything for their fucking Mother's Day. But my mum got me some for my kids. From my kids. And that's what is important to me. So fuck you, you cunt. Because... <laughs> In the grand scheme of things, in, fuck, in, in five years' time, you're not even going to be alive anymore. So why the fuck am I sitting here actually crying about you? I know it sounds pathetic to actually anybody who's watching. Like, why the fuck are you crying over someone who's basically a walking zombie? I don't know. I genuinely don't know what is wrong with me. Because there was a part of me that loved him. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and just lie to you guys part of me actually loved him but yeah anyway i don't want to say anything else thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time goodbye